Hi, God bless you. This is your friend Ferdinand. And the question we have today has to do with identity. Identity. And John the Baptist, you know, gives us a great example of how to have a correct identity without, you know, you know, making ourselves something that we are not, but being content with who we are and what we are in Christ. So in John chapter 1, some people came all the way from Jerusalem. You see, when John began his ministry and things began to happen, some people were sent by the Pharisees and the Jews and the priests to ask John. And they came from Jerusalem. That's the headquarters. And look what they said. They said, who are you? This is John chapter 1 and verse 19. This is the testimony of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? Have you ever been asked that question? And have you ever asked yourself that question? It's very important. Identity is critical in life. If you don't have a clear understanding of who you are, then you will become different things in different scenarios and to different people. And people like that can be very crooked in life because they don't know who they are. And so they are, they, they are pliable and malleable. And then people can use them for anything because they don't have a clear understanding of their identity. John the Baptist, who are you? He said, I am not the Christ. John knew who he was not. He said, I am not the Christ. Said, are you the Christ? He said, I am not the Christ. In the next verse 21, they said, so what? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not Elijah. Then they said, are you the prophet? He said, I am not the prophet. You see, I, I, I tremble at the speed with which people grab big titles. They say, are you the Christ? They say, I am not. Are you the Messiah? I am not. When people ask you whether you are the political Messiah, answer in truth. Say you are not. Are you the biggest man of God in the country? I am not. Are you the most powerful preacher? I am not. I went to preach somewhere. Somebody said, oh, but a Ferdinand, he just made one of these big comments. Inside my head, I said, Ferdinand, you are not what this man is talking about. I can't argue with him, but I reject that opinion because it's not coming from God himself. Are you the prophet, the big prophet? All of these big prophets who are calling themselves prophets. Wait, why don't you calm down? Let somebody else call you that. Are you the most anointed man in the world now? I am not. Are you the miracle worker? I am not. Are you the most intelligent person on the planet? I am not. So who are you? Look what John said. He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. See, John knew who he was. It wasn't about big titles. The man said, I am just a voice. I am a voice that is crying in the wilderness. Look, to tell you the truth, I don't want to be known as a big preacher. I don't want to be known as one popular man of God like that. It doesn't matter. Human opinions are secondary to our true identity in the sight of Almighty God. But you must know who you are. John knew his calling. He said, I am the voice. It was the Lord Jesus himself who now said that of all the people that have ever been born of a woman, there has not arisen a greater prophet than John the Baptist. Can you imagine that? It was now coming from the Lord. It was not John claiming something for himself. I wish that God will bring a fresh baptism of identity and humility to every one of us in his body. It will change our lives and it will transform, you know, the way we do things in church, in office, our attitudes towards other people. Those things will change once we have a clear revelation of our identity. You are a child of God. But Paul said, by the grace of God, I am what I am. And I am content with what God has made me. And I'm looking for approval, not from man, but from the Lord himself. Father, give us a clear revelation of our identity in Christ and help us to be contented, to keep things simple and Lord, to walk in humility in your presence all the days of our lives. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. My dear brother, my dear sister, let's keep things simple and let the Lord himself be the one that will commend us for what he has called us to do.
Bye-bye.